This is the San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo Parade, sponsored by Trans-Texas Southwest Credit Union. Now, live from downtown, here is KLST's Carolyn McEnroe, KSAN's Isabel Aubritton, and Lenny Cristo from the San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo. And welcome to the annual San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo Parade. I'm Carolyn McEnroe with KLST along with KSAN's Isabel Albritton and San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo Association Parade Committee member Lenny Cristo. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Lenny, uh, the weather out here is just great. Uh, look at this turnout. It looks like there are even more people out here than there was last year. Oh, this is a, I would say this is probably pretty record breaking since, since we've had a uh, transition from having the parade in February, having it now in April, we have this beautiful spring weather coming in. You know, I, I can't remember how many years I've been doing this parade and I, I'm looking, we're at the corner of, of Concho and Oaks, which is kind of the first turn that the rodeo will take when they come around the corner. And I do think I've seen as many people. It is so nice to see everybody here this morning. So nice to have you all. You know, we were talking with Doran Reynolds, president of the Stock Show Association last night and about how nice it is to have the rodeo in town and how it's based on tradition. You know, this is one of the top rodeos in the country in terms of not only purse money, but in terms of the number of the contestants who come here every year. And talking about how nice it is to have something hopeful to look forward to, something fun to do. Definitely. And Lenny, weeks. there's a lot that goes into putting this rodeo parade together. Yeah, for over 90 years, we've been putting on this parade, Raid or Shine. So if my memory uh, serves you well, which it has, uh, I've had parades where we've had sleet, we've had snow. <laughs> Today we have beautiful weather, but we still come out here, rain or shine, and make sure that we give a good, good show for everybody out here in San Angelo. I have to tell you a story about that one year we were over here at Eggemeyer's up on the top when we used to be up there in, the, in February. Former Tom Green County Judge Steve Floyd was with us. The hot chocolate froze solid oh, from the time somebody set it down that morning to not. So <laughs> let's talk about the difference. And, you know, this is what is the second year now that the stock show and the rodeo have been separated. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the points behind that. Yeah, so the purpose behind that was we wanted to have the stock show and have a uh, maximum opportunity for the participants to participate in San Angelo and some of the other major stock shows. So we made that decision a few years back to separate the two. And we also have better weather in San Angelo in April. In February, we could have anywhere from you know, 30 degrees to 70 degrees, but April, it's a little more consistent. So it's been, it's been very good for all of us here in San Angelo so far. All right, we see the parade coming toward us now. They started down at the corner of Irving, Concho, and of course, always escorted as we have parades in San Angelo at any time by members of the San Angelo Police Department motorcycle riders who are leading our very first parade float this morning. Fort Concho, historic landmark, just a couple of blocks across the Concho River from us on South Oaks. They are leading today's parade. Parade route this morning, you can see them turning right in front of us as they come on Concho. They will turn to the north on Oaks and then they'll make a little loop down Tuig and then come back on Chadburn and kind of go around City Hall down Beauregard and then uh, back, back kind of close where they started after going down Randolph. And as you can tell, there are, I would say, thousands of people along the route this morning in downtown San Angelo. Fort Concho Director Bob Bluthart is always with an eye on his infantry troops. Good morning, Bob. <laughs> Mayor Brenda Gunner has hitched a ride on the Fort Concho float. Good morning. They're followed by the Tom Green camp, the Sons of Confederate Veterans, with a number of historic flags, too. But before we get to that, let's talk about the Stock Show Association members and some of the people who put this rodeo together every year. Nice to see them riding on horseback this morning with us. Well, Carolyn, we start playing for 2024 moments after this parade ends, but we get together throughout the year as a committee to prepare for the next rodeo to make it bigger and better the following year. So we met last, we met last time in uh, February to get ready for today, and we met one other time. So we've had a pretty flawless run so far. And it's always nice. We'll see a number of riding groups from out of town in the parade today, but this group is full of local, beautiful ladies from all around the Concho Valley, San Angelo ambassadors. 
are riding with us. You'll see them during each rodeo performance as they perform their drills at high speed out in the arena. They've got 11 performances this year. They had their first one last night. We had that in our highlights on ContraValleyHomePage.com as well. And the Rodeo Association Ambassadors are led by Missy Wysoon, Cody Wysoon, and Bridget Carr. They always put on a good show for us. And they practice and they perform for a number of other rodeos too. Next we have our folks from uh, Ram Rodeo, one of our local sponsors, but I also want to thank Hawkins Battery and Golf Cart, Corner Stop and Longhorn for supporting the parade this morning, getting us, uh, getting us up bright and early at 6.30 a.m. Our, we have dozens of historically decorated floats in this parade this morning. Here is our General Tom Green Camp, Sons of Confederate Veterans, with some historic flags. If you'll take a look at those from the Texas Revolution and the war between the states. Also dressed in period costume. It's really interesting how they put the historical pieces together to commemorate our history of West Texas. Thank you uh, for doing that. How does that work with entries just for people in the future if they're interested in being in a parade? You know, we have such a variety of groups from, from high school bands to individual businesses to longtime organizations who want to be a part of the San Angelo Radio Parade. Yeah, so we're open to riding groups, uh, public groups, an assortment of different groups, antique cars as well. So if you are interested, go to the San Angeles Stock Show and Rodeo website, and we have a specific link for the parade. And if you're interested in entering in 2024, we'd be more than glad to have you all. So you can start planning now. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> is she riding side saddle? I'm taking a look at that. Is she waving? I she think is. She she says, yes, she's hanging under her <laughs> reins, and she is. That's not easy to do. All right, we have a number of U.S. Air Force floats in our uh, parade this morning. Take a look at that big fire truck and look who's sitting inside it. 17th Training Wing Commander Matt Ryleman and his wife Katie. Good morning. Morning, Colonel Ryleman. Of course, members of all armed forces come to Goodfella to spend six weeks or more at a time training for firefighting at the, uh, at the DOD Department of Defense training facility based right here in San Angelo. They do. We have the firehouse, we have the intel operations, we've got many other enlisted career fields as well. And we've got the motorized choo-choo train with six cars participating, wearing cowboy outfits. Driver Davey Weinberg, he's a board member of the, uh, and aboard is Susanna and Tammy. That's the way, that's a great way to do the parade. I like that. Here's another have to good get way a ride to do on the that parade. Later. On horseback, another riding group this morning. So I wanted to thank ML Letty today. We had specific access for our handicapped folks in the community. We want to ensure that they have prime seating for the rodeo themselves. We're watching the Concho Chicks drill team go by. They've been around since 2012, and they perform in a number of rodeos, usually during the summer months from June through the fall months. Good morning. Concho Valley Vietnam veterans. There are 14 veterans on float, and their theme is Western theme. You can see it says Lonesome Dove Jail. It's Somebody's inside it. <laughs> <laughs> Couple people inside. That's a good place to see the parade, though, actually. Just we need keep to know waving. what they're wanted for. <laughs> keep waving. We have AP Texas, one of their gondola trucks. Look at that float. Lots of young little parade goers on the float this morning. Oh, look, they've got a telephone pole on there. Boy, we appreciate those guys, don't we? And they're working hard to reinforce and make sure that we have electricity post snow apocalypse a few years back. <laughs> oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Very much appreciate what they do. That's another good, another good way to ride the parade. Good morning. So today's uh, parade is a little... A little sad. Uh, Carl Buchter, who's been spent over 20 years on the parade committee, was our previous superintendent, has passed on. So today he's looking on, but one of his favorite parts of the parade was antique vehicles. And today we have one 
that's coming through right now. Speaking of that, that's a 1936 Ford V8 pickup restored by John Dunham, who is also no longer with us. And to continue the tradition, his family, Danny and Connie Brown, Rachel, Dylan, Gavin, Macy, Natalie, and Shaley, all in that pickup this morning. And then we've got Jimmy Braden antique car, the 18, or 1958 Plymouth uh, red and white two-door hardtop. Followed by Republican women of the Concho Valley, pioneer ladies, dressed in period costume. That's a pretty intricate float. They have everything, including the laundry out in the back, drying. It looks very historically accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of talk about the parade a little bit. So for folks that know that are interested, we have five different types of categories happening in this parade. We have the antique category, the float category, the marching category, the riding category, and the wagon and buggy category. So if any of you all are interested in participating in any one of those five, we'd be glad to have you. And the community really enjoys seeing the historical aspects of our West Texas community. All right, we have a number of darling little children in the parade, too, and I, just a second, we'll flip back around and watch what's going on there. People are taking a quick second to cross the street, and now we have the Home Depot Kids Workshop. They sponsor workshop projects for kids and help them put it together and paint them. We've got, what, is that a wagon in the front? He has a motorized little vehicle. That's another great way to oh, see that. Oh, that looks cool. That's a good... Hey, he's doing a good he's job a... controlling his hoverboard this <laughs> he morning. He does. Let's see what he does on the turret. <laughs> <laughs> We're we all watching. <laughs> oh, and he has Dip. matching sunglasses. There we go. Perfect. I'd say that's a 10. Good job. I'm sure these kids are having the time of their life marching this morning. You know, that's a great project, too, to teach, teach children about. A, you learn a lot of lessons when you have those kinds of projects. There's another little wagon, one little guy who's two little guys in a nice wagon. The Tom Green County 4-H Horse Club is another of the riding groups that we have in the parade this morning. So during rodeo season, we have a bunch of different committees and volunteers that make the event happen. We have over 60 different committees, so for anybody here that's interested, We'd be more than glad to have you all on one of our committees. But one of the perks of being a part of a, a committee is you have early access to tickets to the rodeo itself. So it definitely does have its, its pros of joining. You know, there's something like 1,600 volunteers who help put this together. And this is one of the few that, that where the rodeo board or the stock show board actually puts the rodeo on. Yeah, and it's, it's a big committee endeavor. You have to look at this horse's hooves. Do you see that? Oh, they're shiny. I love it. He's beautiful. So Las Vegas meets West Texas. Here we've got the GTO Club of San Angelo. This is a 1967 Pontiac GTO convertible. It's blue interior. Carrie Armistead and Christine Armistead are in the vehicle. Hello. Perfect day for a convertible ride. And we've got Poise Dance Company. Poise dancers have won numerous regional and national top three placement awards and perform locally at Sharing Dance Day at the Texan Spring Show annually. The Poise dancers train at the Dance Academy. Look at them go. You hear those fire trucks? They're all from the Great Creek Volunteer Fire Department. You know, they've been working on upgrading their equipment the past few years with all their brush trucks and their fire trucks. Appreciate what you all do. Good morning. Here's Looks like Dallas winners. Cowboy fans. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one of our non-commercial float winners, the Dallas Cowboys fans. They actually won first place. Let's see that play. First place winners. <laughs> I'd say they're pretty average fans. <laughs> Is it football season yet? Oh my gosh, he's got a cowboy nice. tattoo. <laughs> 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 
what's really exciting yeah, is we, we got a band on the way. Coming up next. It's always a treat. This year we're going to have two We're marches. watching members of the Mighty Eagles Band from El Dorado. We're so glad to have them in San Angelo this morning. We'll listen for a minute as they come by us. Music always makes me think of Angelo State Rams games. Oh, we got a tractor Once coming. Once again, members of the Mighty Eagle Band from El Dorado. This is Danny Sears. He's on his John Deere built 1945 two-cylinder John Deere tractor. That's an antique. And it works great. <laughs> Looks good as new. <laughs> you know, that's a long time tradition, too, that he has tractors in this rodeo parade. For oh, good they, reason. They get very passionate about making them historically accurate, and these ranchers will talk. We've talk got the Lone Star Cart Speedway. Peter Cross Country Church, the Rafter Cross Country Church. Look at that, one, two, three, four, five bucking broncs in that float. And bucking bronc riders. Parker County Sheriff's Posse, welcome. They come every year. They've been a long time tradition in this parade. They won third place in the out of town riding group category. Congratulations. A lot of them. <laughs> so I like that the chuck wagon goes before the riders. <laughs> Do you all get up and come drive in in the morning? They're not answering. They're too busy. No. You came in yesterday. Nice to have you. Enjoy. Welcome to San Angelo. They'll get to go to the rodeo today. A lot going on out at the fairgrounds right now, actually. Yeah, we have a lot going on in the Midway right now. We have a lot of food vendors. Uh, one of the things this year at the San Angelo Stock Show Rodeo, we have something called Magic Money. So instead of paying in cash, you've got a nice convenient card that you can load up and use with our vendors. And we have such an assortment of food from your traditional uh, carnival fair to anywhere to, like, uh, boutique pizza out there. So... <laughs> San Angelo, what's going on here? Another San Angelo cowboy company. They're great. Take a look at that. More people in jail she wants out. <laughs> that like looks pretty she solid. That jail looks there. pretty serious, doesn't it? <laughs> So going back to the food vendors again, during the week they're open from 4 to 11 p.m. And this weekend it's from 11 to 11 p.m. So get out there, enjoy some carnival food. My personal favorite is Outlaw Fries. Their fried pickles are probably the best in West Texas. This is Walter Masters. He spent 23 years carrying a cross across the United States. And we have him in our rodeo parade this morning. Well, this is interesting. We've got another tractor. tractor. John Deere. I like how it's easy to operate. It's the perfect size, perfect size. It's perfect for a little parade. Yes. <laughs> nice speed, another bigger tractor. Oh, this one, oh yeah. Just a little bit bigger than that one. You may be compensating, you never know. <laughs> well, this isn't an antique. This is a, this is a modern, modern style John Deere tractor. Morning. So going to some of our food vendors. All right, got we've got the La Esperanza Clinic right here. Hey, y'all. La Esperanza Clinic. We're glad to have them and their decorated rodeo float at the parade this morning. Hi there. And they just broke around a new facility where the old roller skating rink used they to did. be. Always expanding providing a lot of services for people across the Concha Valley. Santa Rita Falcon cheerleaders. With oh, they look so purple. cute, their little cowboy hats. 
<laughs> Good morning. That's a big trailer. Quarter Stone Christian, Christian, Christian School. School. We've got some cheerleaders on trailer as well. That's a long trailer, too. That's a lot of people. Blue Cross Blue Shield in the parade again this year. They've There's got the, the blue, blue bear. bear. And the club staff and family are riding on that float with Western decor. You see all them bales of hay on there. It says, keep calm and rodeo on. There we go. This is a new riding group, the Spirit Riders from Lubbock. SPIRIT stands for South Plains Integrity Riding Team, and they won second place in the out-of-town riding category. Congratulations. Good morning. They actually perform at a number of rodeos and events in Lubbock, too. So they, those, those cowgirls know what they're doing when they're riding. Giving back to the community, spreading the Western heritage is their passion. Okay, and we've got the MHMR Concho Valley. The theme is Yellowstone since 1883. Since 1883. Oh, I see. There's Rip. There's, Mission. <laughs> there's John Dutton. There's Beth. They're all there. Hello. I just hope they don't take us to the train station. Oh, we don't want to go there. <laughs> the rest of that season going to start, Isabel? You know what? It needs to start we soon. We do. We need to find out. <laughs> another antique car, another GTO. Remember the GTO club? Perfect day for a convertible. Well, I want to do a big shout out to Longhorn Coffee for supporting the parade over these years. They had uh, the group in this morning at 6.30, getting us some coffee for us to do our, our production show. And um, that's our little tie-in with Yellowstone, because the rumor is one of the, the cast members may have purchased an interest in, in Longhorn Coffee. Love that series. All right. San Angelo Central High, who... Another cheering group. For Concho. Spirit Squad, they start young, the age of like five or six, and they are cheerers. I can hear them all the way a block away. <laughs> and a fan club, too. San Angelo Association of Realtors follows the Spirit Group. Talking about mutton busting that starts. When does the mutton busting start? I think it's at one o'clock today. At the matinee rodeo this yes. afternoon. That's the theme of the San Angelo Association of Realtors float this year. And the requirement for the mutton busting is you have to be under 50 pounds. So for any of you folks that got some young kiddos and you're interested, in, there's a tryout that happens <laughs> in February. And it is one of the most popular events of the rodeo. All right, and we've got the ADACCV. It's a nonprofit organization and an agency here in San Angelo. It's been promoting wellness and recovery for over 60 years and has assisted countless individuals. Palo Pinto Sheriff's Posse continues. Good morning. How are you all doing? First place winners, congratulations. Let's, let's see that plaque. That's a good way to do the float, just put it on the truck, that way you don't have to worry about pulling a uh, tractor behind you. There you go. Oh, they got a barn. From McCoy's, well they know construction. <laughs> good morning. I think you did a good job painting that barn, too. Oh, look at that 1945. That is a 1945 antique Ford truck. Oh, that's nice. Jeffries Farms. We've got a Trey Holmes and, Je and Terry Jeffries riding in a tractor. This is a 1945 1.5 ton Ford truck. All right, we go from antique tractors to members of the San Angelo Central High School Texans drill team as they perform coming around the corner. At Ooh, are they going to do high kicks? Are they going to high kick? 
No. I used to do this. No, it's hard enough to go around and turn in line. No, 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 no <laughs> kicking. Or maybe they will. We'll see. Maybe. The world famous Texans. They usually, sometimes they have the drum corps from the Central High School band behind them, but they're doing it on their own rhythm tonight. Nice to see them. This is one of our biggest floats in the parade this morning. Got a Mack truck. Twin Mountain Fence Company, you need it for all the equipment that they have. For over 70 years, Twin Mountains Fence has operated exclusively in the fencing business. In 1947, the company was founded in San Angelo with a goal to provide high-grade cedar posts to area ranchers. And Raymond Meza and his crew do so much for the community, too, not just providing miles and miles of fence line for people all over this area, but for the community of San Angelo and the Concho Valley. Nice to see them. And the Western Campground, Wagon Wheels, and the prettiest cowgirls around. Looking for a studio apartment, a townhome, or anything in between, they've got a property for you. I love the saguaro cactus. Here's part of the Shriners entry. So as Shriners have been in this parade probably for as long as it's been going on. Lots of members in the car this morning. They also have... A fire truck, that's 1947 Studebaker, that was the 1949 Cadillac. They have their calliope this morning. Good morning. 1898. They're also, there's the, there's the antique fire truck, 1915. Oh, wow. Bucket Brigade. They could put out the fire with their buckets. That's the way that works, for real. We've got the San Jacinto Warriors on the way. The school was recently saved from full closure, and they wanted to show their gratefulness and the love of the community for saving their school and the history it has among many of their community members, the port of a great organization that brings many visitors to our small and growing town. Go Warriors! So today we have a lot of stuff going on today at the Midway at the Stock Show and Rodeo. The hours are from noon to midnight, so if you're interested in going out there, we have Tally Amusements that'll be having, uh, that'll be running the rides, and you can get an all-day, all-you-can-ride wristband for about $50 today, so that's good for one day. Or you could spend 120 and have rides for the entire rodeo. All right, these charros have horses to ride. They won the second place in town riding group award today. Three generations of charros, charros tres generaciones. Take a look at their saddles and their hats and ladies riding side saddle as they come around the corner. You've got beautiful dresses. They actually compete in tournaments all around the area, and they've won in Fort Worth and San Antonio, El Paso, and even some tournaments in New Mexico. Wow. Watch those rope tricks. Do you know how to work a rope like that? Do you know how to work a rope like that? No. <laughs> and I'm left-handed, too, so that, that's another problem. It's a little more complicated. <laughs> I can ride, but... Can't rope. <laughs> All right, and here we've got H-E-B, the H-E-B buddy, and the H-E-B H -E -B partners are riding on the float. Here, everything's better, right? <laughs> H-E-B is followed by a fairly new organization in San Angelo, the San Angelo Hispanic Heritage Group. Oh, look at all those colors. They have a fiesta theme to their float. They've got three to four Katrinas and two ballet flocorico dancers and the puppets and some board members on that float. Dia de los Muertos theme. Look at there her. Go. Look Pretty. at the traditional really dresses. Colored. They won second place in the non-commercial. Uh, congratulations to them for this parade. I have another riding group coming along, watching this rider trying to keep the white horse settled. <laughs> she goes down the street. It's not easy riding on pavement. 
He said there's too many people out here. I think... There you go. <laughs> All right, they're celebrating over 30 years on the AASP and RC level competition, play day parades, and trail rides. A family group this is the Twin Mountain Riding Club. Love their logo on their flag, the Twin Mountains. There we go. He's calming down a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, and you can't really go fast because you're on pavement. <laughs> <laughs> Hang in there. And this is the downtown San Angelo three to four sheep established in 2004. Downtown San Angelo Incorporated was formed by a group of 35 individuals who are dedicated to downtown revitalization. Did you see the, the horns on the sheep, the long horns on the sheep? I hadn't seen that before. Yeah. I've... <laughs> There's the Grind Coffee Cafe open today from eight to two. That's a good way to advertise. Good way to do a float too. Just put your antique car on the on the trailer. Oh, they just had their grand opening yesterday with the ribbon cutting. Perfect timing. Escorted by some smaller vehicles. So this year we had 91 entries in the parade, uh, two marching bands. That's the B. Ramirez Roofer, 1959 Ford pickup. The baby blue two door. Just kidding. <laughs> so we've been uh, in February. We had the junior robotics competition this year, and we had over 90 teams from all across Texas. And uh, we had two categories: arena and inventions. And the winner of arena was was from Wall, and. Uh, uh, Concho Valley Christian Academy. So we had some really interesting participants. We had teams come from as far away as San Antonio to this year's event. So for a lot of people that don't know, is with the separation of the stock show uh, from the rodeo, we have a lot of events happening in February. But it makes it a treat to have an extension of it come April time frame when we have uh, the actual PRCA rodeos happening. But uh, we had over 40 different contests happening in February. But it's even more fun now to have even more events going on for the city uh, in April. You know, that is something that I think as people get used to the difference in that, you know, having it be split, more people will go out. Because anybody can go out and watch those shows, whether it's the robotics or the ag mechanics show or any of the, the livestock shows. Yeah, and admission for a lot of those events are free. So I really tell folks to go to the Stock Show and Rodeo website and look at the schedule of events and come take a look and see what's happening in San Angelo. You'd be amazed. All right, we have another band, Concha Valley Band, with us members of the Wildcat Band from Water Valley High School are coming around the corner. David Andrus is their band director. Dakota Sellards is their drum major. We're going to listen as they come around the corner at Oaks and Concho. members of the Water Valley Volunteer Fire Department following behind their high school band with a nice big brush truck that has lots of nice high clearance. Fire truck number 403, again, remind everybody, all volunteer firefighting force. And they recently received a grant to get some new fire gear, but they're always trying to upgrade their equipment. We've also got the San Angelo Cowboy Church. The goal of the San Angelo Cowboy Church is to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with the Western heritage culture and to provide a place where they can live and grow to become more like Jesus Christ, guiding the Holy Spirit. San Angelo Cowboy Church. And they have services on Sunday, too. The announcer Boyd Klamis was talking about that, too. Anybody could go to those. They are. They're open to the community, and uh, they're encouraged to attend. We've got a big barn on the way. With what's left of the windmill, the top it's of the, the windmill's not on there. YMCA <laughs> of San Angelo. 
is the mission of the San Angelo YMCA is to serve the people in San Angelo community of all faiths and have an emphasis on families and youth. They have some little rodeo clowns doing their thing on that float. It says, welcome to the Wild West. The 5D Cowgirls of Anson coming around the corner now. Fun-loving bunch of riders of all ages and riding experiences. You don't have to be an expert. They're based in Anson and travel across the state for parades like this one today. Johnson's Funeral Home also has a float in the parade this morning, covered wagon. And we've got the Lakeview, the Lakeview Chief Vets. We've got Captain Lina Argoat, the co-captain RJ Robles, Diani Vargas is another captain, and Leah Salas and Jaylee Motar lieutenants. A lot of marching groups in this parade this morning. Mm -hmm. Lots of dancing. Conexion San Angelo. A great radio theme float. Take a look at that big it's silver spur. spur. There we go. San Angelo News Media Company provide up-to-date happenings, sorts of connecting the community with local businesses. And this is the Stallworth Services. They were established in January of 2022. They can offer many services such as mechanical repair, welding, and fabrication. I love all the stuff going on there. You've got the engine and the windmill. I like it. <laughs> History and modern times too. They do a lot. Tom Green County 4-H Club. They're very involved in both the stock show and the rodeo. Have yeah. been for generations. We had one of their teams participate in both arena and inventions during the, the stock show. Their inventions team created a robot that would bring MREs or military ready to eat to soldiers on the battlefield. My Who gosh. would know a 4-H wow. group of uh, third graders would be developing such things. They also won third place in this year's San Angelo Rodeo in the in-town riding group category. Congratulations. Led by Estelle Skinner in the center holding up the trophy. Take a look at the one last little horse there. He's going along. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing up the less of the group. How cute. All right, here comes the standby saloon. Wait till you see this coming around the corner. This looks like a rowdy bunch. <laughs> oh. They are. <laughs> They've been working on this float for weeks. Is Dan driving this morning? Dan's driving. He is. Morning, there Dan. we go. Notice We've all got the, the whole K San and KLC crew on there. You know, it's fitting, too, because that's exactly what was going on around this part of downtown. In the days when first San Angelo. And they worked hard on those costumes, too. They look great. <laughs> is the weather guy there this morning? Chris, are you on there? Chris is there. Good morning. Nice weather, Chris. Thank you. And we've got the San Angelo Republican women. We've got two chuck wagons. They're driven by Jay Garrett. It's an 1885 John Deere chuck wagon and the second one is driven by gene richard it's a 1900 sears and roebuck chuck wagon and sand republican women got second place overall in the commercial category congratulations to them and this is the salvation army of san angelo it was founded in london in 1865 the salvation army quickly circled the globe that little guy in the back has been waving already. He's kind of tired. <laughs> <laughs> and we got the emergency disaster truck right here. They're waving. Good morning. That's a good place. Good place to ride. Our Diamond Miss is coming along now. Another OK Corral themed float with some saloon doors, some saloon goings on. Look at that big sparkly crown. And those are all the reigning local queens with their beautiful tiaras this morning. Looks so pretty in the sunshine.
That saloon looks pretty, uh, saloon door looks pretty well used, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Angelo Express Athletics. There are 40 kids ages 4 to 17 in cheer uniforms right there. Lenny, there are hundreds and hundreds of people in this parade, and they all line up early in the morning down at the start starting point. Yeah, we had, we had folks out here at about 7 a.m. this morning to ensure that they had the primo parking, and it's it's pretty amazing considering it was 45 degrees this morning. <laughs> well, it's certainly a lot warmer now. Another riding group in this parade. It's nice to see so many traditional riding groups. guy has some pretty silver on his saddle. And this is H&R Block. The theme is tax time. It's that time of year. <laughs> April 15th, is that next week? I can't remember. Oh, look at that karate kid. <laughs> Float filled with little karate students. That's an ATX Taekwondo, uh, one of the striking martial arts. <laughs> you know arts. about that, don't you? I do. I'm a grappler, Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner over here behind me at Redemption Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, the owner of Redemption also owns Marshall Pine as well. Zach Marshall, one of the local proprietors of San Angelo downtown. <laughs> Fort McCavick, Sons of Confederate Veterans from Menard. Lots of historic flags on that float, too. Very much. Everybody's riding inside. It looks like the wind's starting to pick up. Another nice looking antique Jeep. That looks look authentic. Yeah, from the fields of World War II. Camp number 2326. Good morning. Morning, Chief. Nice to see <laughs> you. You know him from Christmas at Old Fort Concho. Over at the Spur Arena, y'all also have the creative arts categories out for everyone to see. They're at the Spur. They're yes. inside the Spur in the entryway. You do. Um, and you also have several other contests going on as well uh, for art, uh, knitting, pottery. So if folks are interested, uh, make your way to the, the midway and to some of the, the, the structures that we have over at the Stock Show and Rodeo. There's a bunch of different events going on. It's open to the community. And again, these are free, free of charge as well. The, well, the barbecue too is going on, the competition going on today out at the fairgrounds. And you can just go up and, and it doesn't matter who you are, right? You can go test, see, see what it's like. It is, and it, everybody's encouraged to go. I know a lot of folks came out here today to watch a parade. Enjoy a barbecue contest as well. Also, to, we were noticing in the cattle barn, well, the new cattle barn, uh, which is just north of the Coliseum, the main and that was part of the stock show that, that was held over to April. Yes, and that's always a fan favorite. Those mini Herefords, uh, as my <laughs> daughter Carolyn would say, those are so cute. <laughs> you don't want to get too close to them. <laughs> Why is that? Has she had an experience? <laughs> she has. Oh, she has. <laughs> All right. Well, we want to ask, but she's okay. <laughs> All right, and coming down, we have Prep Academy Dance Studio. It's an elite recreational team performing at events across the Conto Valley. Dancers develop traits of strength, Perseverance, hard work, and leadership in a fun, competitive environment. Now, these are girls ages 5 to 18. Looks like we have more on the, the five range. The younger, girls. right? <laughs> High school girls at the back, but look at your front girls there. They're starting early. And they are keeping up. They look so cute with their little pom-poms. Is that the support wagon, the mom with the support wagon? <laughs> And we've got the Candela Roofing Corporation, the Hay Bales Balloons and Business Signs. They're the Roofing Corporation that specializes in the installation of residential and commercial roofing systems. We're getting into that time of the year, aren't we? Hail season and storm season. We had a little <laughs> we'll bit busy. of hail a couple days ago. Take a look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six white horses. And that is a multi-generational tradition from Hardin Simmons in Abilene. Six white horses at Hardin Simmons University started in the 1930s. 
They ride in parades, rodeos, and at school events all over the United States. Make about 100 appearances a year. That's the most perfect turn we've mm -hmm. seen today, yeah. too. Congratulations. And the Angelo Catholic School is coming up with their float. Is that an eagle I see on there? <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Float filled with students and parents. Members of the San Angelo Southside Lions Club. A number of Lions Club group around San Angelo and around the world, actually, and they are always involved in projects to help people in need. This is an interesting fact. They were here 100 years ago when this all first started and have several riders following their float this morning. Southside Lions Club. And here we have Manuel's floor cleaning on the way. They have been in business for about seven years now. They are local and they, you can give them a call for all your floor cleaning needs. And we've got another float on the way. I see a lot of balloons coming this way. It's the Garcia's Income Tax Service. Garcia's Income Tax Service has been in business and serving the community for 38 years, for generations. The owner is Nancy Garcia. They have the tax preparer on the float. You know, this is a big day for families across the Concha Valley to come into San Angelo. And whether you're going to the rodeo this afternoon or tonight or not going to the rodeo, lots of people head toward the fairgrounds. There are tens of thousands of people out there on the first Saturday. Oh, yeah. And we have an assortment of events and uh, food for folks to try out, cultural events as well. And we encourage everybody in the community to head out there. The big thing this year is, again, with the new amusements and rides, getting that magic money card, which can enable you charging that card and not having to pay cash, and just go out there and have the time of your life out there. You know, that carnival has kind of a, a life of its own, really. There are a lot of people who, who go out to the fairgrounds just to go ride the rides. They do, <laughs> and we encourage that. Here we got San Angelo to go. Hey, Preston. San Angelo to go offers delivery all over San Angelo. And they have their own cheering squad, the McGill Cheerleaders. There are about 30 to 40 kids ages 4 to 9 in their cheer uniforms out here. Again, hundreds and hundreds of children from all around San Angelo and the Concha Valley in the parade this morning. And as we see the two motorcycle those are the newer motorcycle guys the guys on the the older motorcycle started these guys are wrapping it up and that means that the rodeo parade is coming to a close just to, again lenny talking a little bit about what happens three weeks first rodeo performance was last night we had an incredible amount of of talent here for the first for the first rodeo will lummis dakota eldridge the steer wrestling was incredibly fast in something like three four seconds are you going to get to go to watch tonight yeah and um Throughout the rodeo season, we have, a, we have a host of events going on. As I mentioned earlier, we have over 60 different committees, and with those 60 committees, we have different events that are happening. And when we have more than, it's close to 2,000 volunteers, you can volunteer anything from being part of the parade to being part of the calf scramble, which is a hugely popular, to the mutton busting, to security of the grounds. And everybody kind of has his own his own bubble too and they all do their own thing and because they know better than anybody because they've been doing it so long and whatever whether it's taking care of the gate whether it's letting some of the timed event riders just even just into the coliseum it all really works and it's all on a tight time schedule it's like a well-working machine and uh and it's again it's the the community really getting engaged and wanting to support this because it does bring a lot of a lot of positive uh, it does. I think people look forward to it. It's fun. Definitely. And it's gotten a lot bigger over the years. I heard it in not even five hours. All the tickets were sold out for the rodeo. 
Well, you know, Executive Director Justin Jonas was saying, and I'm not sure if I've got my numbers right, but was it, he, there were at one point, you know, tickets are all sold online now immediately. There were 68,000 people trying to get tickets for a total of something like 65,000 uh, seats in the Coliseum. Which is amazing. Uh, I remember talking to Justin about this. Uh, we didn't realize that the rodeo is that popular. Obviously it is. So we want to make sure that folks have access to tickets and folks that want to be part of the rodeo and get to see the, the PRSA, PRCA performances have an opportunity to do that. But what I really want to stress is folks that are volunteers uh, for any of the committees get a pass, and I'm kind of just showing it on, on, on the air. <laughs> you get in. You can get in. And if there's an open seat, you can sit down, because quite often you have folks that buy season tickets mm -hmm. that can attend a lot of the matinee stuff. You know, there is there is kind of an unwritten waiting list for some of those volunteer positions. <laughs> you know, people wait years to get on that because it is such an honor to be a part of it. Are you all looking for volunteers in some areas? We are. And as I mentioned before, we have 60 different committees you can be part of, ranging, we call them general, livestock shows, contact, uh, contests, and equine events. So like for example, a general, the ambassador is, is considered a general committee. This parade is considered part of the general committee. Uh, then we have the livestock show. So you have anything from goats to lambs to steers to rabbits. So if you have any interest whatsoever, you know, these are uh, a couple day or a day events. You know, eight hours of your time gives you access to the entire uh, grounds for the duration of the rodeo. So it's well so who, So how does somebody, what, what do you do? Who, if you're interested, what do you do? Go to the website or what? You do. Stock Show Rodeo, uh, Bre Bre Brenda Rosso is usually the point of contact for all of all of these different types of committees. And she's the one that keeps everybody in line. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere from Justin Jonas to Little Lenny. Right. Christo, oh, right. Know. That's a big, that is a very big job. Also talking about the premium sale, you know, it's, it's even though the stock show is held in February, the big premium sale, which is always the last Saturday of the rodeo run, which will be two weeks from today, is held at the Spur Arena. Uh, and that's that's just grown and grown and grown. They were, I can't remember what they were last year, but it it's grows every year. Oh, and it's over a million dollars that's raised in that given day. And what's becoming even more interested is you're having some of the younger folks. What I mean by younger, I mean the, the sub-40 crowd that's <laughs> getting together to aggregate their funds together to be able to bid on this, bid on some of these uh, animals. And it's a, it's a big thing to get, again, the community involvement with it because uh, we're a community based on an agriculture lifestyle, ranching, and we also have technology as well. And you got to bring that all together. And that's what makes San Angelo a truly exceptional city. Oh, I think so. And then all that money goes to the children, too, for their Definitely. scholarships. Definitely. And you know what? There's a lot of shopping going on at the rodeo as well. How many vendors do y'all have out there? I'll say, don't tell my wife that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go shopping. <laughs> Absolutely. And the other big thing, too, is for, for the kids as well, uh, I really want to stress that we have Is you know, the petting zoo there? The sh is the petting zoo open? I, I haven't seen it yet. I okay. I haven't had a chance to get out on the midway. <laughs> I, I'm going to be out there at, at 1 o'clock for the performance, and my, uh, my son Hunter is going to, if they do have the petting zoo, that's one of his he, highlights. He will be there. That's a great way to introduce children who are not around animals uh, to, to see some of them. And like you say, it's, it's such a longstanding tradition of agriculture and ranching in this area. All right, so the rodeo matinee, this is the first matinee performances tonight, then the evening performance at 7.30, and then what happens tomorrow out there? Well, tomorrow we're going to have another uh, matinee performance, and we're also going to have the, the midway will be open, and so will the food vendors, and you'll also have access to the rides. All right, sounds like lots of fun. Just get out there early because parking becomes a premium. <laughs> it does, and I encourage you to wear comfortable shoes. Yes, because you may be walking. There was a lot of dust out there last night when the, when the wind blew through, but I think the wind is calming down a little bit. Thank you so much for joining us. We've enjoyed Isabel Albritton and Lenny Krista. Thank you all. We've all enjoyed joining you for the San Angelo Rodeo this morning. We're going to return you now to regular programming. Thank you for watching the San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo Parade. This broadcast was sponsored by Trans Texas Southwest Credit Union.